Well, uh, when I joined the exchange, one of the questions I asked was, um, why aren't we demutualized? Uh, and the reason I asked the question is that the benefits of demutualization were well known to me, and the effects of being a mutual organization, the constraints on the competitiveness of the exchange, and of course, to the benefits of the larger economy were obvious to me as well. And I was told that, look, we've tried it, and we've thought about it, but maybe the time was not right. Uh, and um, so I made demutualization the crux of my presidency. And indeed, it was actually um, uh, during uh, the tenure of our council that we um, convinced the members, uh, I think it was March 30th, 2017, actually to demutualize. That's when it was approved. Um, and so you see, it's a very, very arduous journey. Uh, you know, I cracked the joke that day that um, uh, if we draw an analogy to Moses, let's make sure that I'm not Moses who doesn't see the promised land.